All right. Thank you, camera crew out there. Hello, Bridget Air here with All About the Grace, and it's great to be with you again today. Um, on this channel, we talk about faith, culture, and media awareness, and I think my tripod's crooked, but we're going with it. Um, today, we are going to be talking about prayer, and this is actually the second video I think I've done on this topic. The other topic was prayer chair, and that was about having a specific time, a specific place, and a specific kind of um, acts or methodology that you use when you do have your appointment with God. This is going to be specifically about um, something called ACTS, A-C-T-S. And this is a very common prayer formula for praying. And I'm going to go through each of the what each means and if you haven't subscribed I always forget to say this if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do click the red subscribe button below uh, it helps me out a lot in that um, I don't have to spend a lot of time pushing it out you just get it immediately when it's uploaded okay <clears throat> number one of acts is a for adoration so the first thing, this is basically what do you do during your prayer time, okay? And this is the formula, ACTS, A-C-T-S. A stands for adoration. So basically, when I was a beginner to prayer, to prayer, I did most of the talking. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But then as I have learned more about prayer, it's really more about listening. So... But the first thing in prayer is A for adoration. And basically, you are there sitting with God, worshiping Him. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, but it is really what it is. And sometimes people will do like a litany, which is, you know, a whole list of um, praising God, like with the name of Jesus, you know, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. There's like a whole litany, um, you know of all the different titles of Jesus. In fact, there's a book that has all the titles of Jesus and um, some people I know during that adoration time would just read um, or pray or praise God in you know, saying, him, saying all of his titles. And that's just one idea. Okay, number two is contrition. C for contrition. That's when you're going to be telling God that you're sorry for whatever, you know, the ways maybe that you failed to follow him or, you know, whatever else is going on. And then T stands for thanksgiving. And that's when you thank God for all the many gifts that you've been given, all the many graces that you've been given, and even in thanking God for our crosses, because we all have crosses. So we thank God for everything, both our blessings and our crosses. And then the fourth letter in Acts is S, and that stands for supplication. And that's when we ask God for our needs. So initially, <laughs> When I would pray, it would just be, you know, the wish list, you know. But then as I learn more about it, and there, I, I can think of three other formulas, and I might do some of those too. But. Okay, uh, actually my uh, memory card ran out, so I had to stop there for a second. But just to recap on the acts, A for adoration, C for contrition, T for Thanksgiving, and S for Supplication. And over time, I have used this formula, and I'll spend a different amount of time, like on each letter. Sometimes it's only been five minutes. Sometimes it's only been one minute per letter. Other times it's been 15 minutes per letter, so, you know, like a full hour. But really, this is just a way to help you have a conversation with God and really again 
as I said before, that most of, in my early days of praying, I did all the talking. Surprise, surprise. But then as I grew in my faith and as I learned more about it, really prayer is about listening to God. And um, again, there are a lot of ways to do that. Scripture is probably the main way or just being silent and, you know, say, hey, God, here I am. Let's chat. <clears throat> I'm pretty informal. Um, but um, what do you got today? You know, that kind of stuff. But um, hopefully this will be helpful. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, just click the red subscribe button below. It's really helpful. It's free. But I don't have to push it out on social media, which I am still doing. But it just saved me a lot of time if you would just subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.